Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this SketchUp tutorial, we'll show you how to get sections from a 3D model. In every possible way, you would be able to produce various section visualizations after watching. This tutorial, multiple sections, perspective sections, parallel sections, etc. So let's start. You can find the section tool in the large tool set. But for all section tools, we right click above and select the section from the open window. You can pin the toolbar up. We choose section plane tool. Before activating, we will see a floating rectangle in my cursor. This rectangle will cut the surface it is on with respect to the surface of the object to be cut. After clicking, the section will be active. You can move the section plane with the move tool. The display section plane tool in the toolbar turns the plane off and on. The display section cuts tool turns the cuts off and on in the toolbar. The section fill tool fills or unloads the cut parts. You can rotate the section with the rotate tool. If we want to cut the object from another angle, you can draw a new surface and cut it. When you try to take a few sections in SketchUp, you will see that each section is separate. To open the closed section, you can right-click and select the active cut or double-click on the plane. Let's see how to take a multi-section. If you try each section in a different group, you will see that it will be. Since there is an existing group, we will draw a line anywhere to get another group, and I will group it. Second group is okay. Since we want to cut three surfaces, we repeat the same process. Third group is okay. Now we will cut one surface in each group in turn. First section is done. Second section is done. Third section is done. That's it. Now let's apply what we learned it on a building. We have a building model that consists of individually grouped parts. We'll take our first section from the front surface. We'll take our other parts piece by piece from different floors. You can use smaller section planes if you enter the very inside of the group you want to cut.
All sections are done. Axonometric section ready for visualization. You can click on perspective from camera if we want to make perspective. You can change views from the camera. Let's make it parallel and isometric again. Let's look at the front. You can make a perspective section. You can look at it as a top view and cut it. We'll look at a more complex building. Parallel projection. Perspective projection. We'll cut it. The perspective section is ready. Now the isometric section. That's it. We hope this tutorial has met all your sectional needs. If you have other modeling tips or requests, share them with us in the comments section. See you on the next one.